Welcome back everybody. From the last section, you've just learned how to deal with media elements and galleries. In this section, we'll see how to interact with the user. Namely, you will learn to create forms and other input elements using the tools provided by Zurb Foundation. In this video, we are going to make a simple HTML form and you will see that with no effort, Foundation will make it responsive and nice looking. We are now going to create our contact form on the contact page you have already created. As you guessed, the first step is to remove the placeholder image on the contact us tab. Here we are going to put our form. We'll just provide three fields for email, type of message, message text and the standard submit button. We'll do our best to keep the form as semantic as possible. Then, as you already used to, we are going to make it responsive using SAS. The only real difference from a plain HTML form here is that we assign the button class to the submit input. That way, your send button will be styled according to foundation standards. And now the funny part. Let's make it responsive. Open your style file and add the proper rules. We want everything to span to 12 columns on mobile. And while on medium and larger screens, we will make the mail and type appear on the same line. Today, while creating our contact form, we just reviewed the basics of HTML form creation and enjoyed the nice foundation default style. In the next video, you are going to get your hands dirty with some useful tools included with foundation to personalize the forms.